Hey there. Um, so I'm reviewing the CD, I guess the EP by uh, John Frusciante, um, Let Er Leffer. L E T U R dash L E F R. Anyway, um, so I bought it. It's like five songs. Um, I'll just I'll cut to the chase. If you're on a budget, I recommend at least buying one song and checking it out and seeing if you like the others. You know, listen to the samples on iTunes or Amazon and buy one. And then if you like it, buy another. And if you like that, buy another. Um, but if you're not so much, like if you're not on a tight budget, I just say buy the whole thing. And that's presuming you've sort of like John Prushante's stuff. Um, the stuff is, the, well, the music, <laughs> the stuff, the music um, is different, I think, than his other stuff. Uh, it's sort of a lot more it's sort of experimental. Some of it almost sounds like a flashback to the 80s, but different. Um, you'd have to sort of hear some of it to, to know what I mean. Um, with that, uh, but ultimately, I think so. I'm really satisfied with my purchase, um, and I think he has another EP coming out in like the end of the month or something. Um, this came out on when did it come out? Recently, pretty recently. It doesn't say here exactly, but uh, but yeah, it does. Well, it came out this year in 2012. I don't have the exact date, but yes, yeah, so I'd just say it's a really good CD. Um, some of it's if, like there's that song Ramparts. It's short. It's just guitar. One, at least one of the songs on here sort of sounds like that a little bit in the sense it's just um, mostly musical but then there's like a you know a bunch of sort of like um, surreal sort of techno psychedelic sort of stuff techno stuff um, mixed in so it's very interesting it's a very interesting sound in one of the songs um, it starts off really beautiful and then goes to sort of like a crunky not cr sort of semi qu quasi crunky quasi crunky um, sort of techno uh, interlude bridge and it's a little bit off-putting but I think the more I listen to it I'll probably get used to it but the beginning and the end of the song is so great like it makes up for it by a long shot I think um, so yeah five songs uh, you, you can get it for like five dollars on Amazon I'm guessing it's probably about the same on iTunes I got it on Amazon I like I like Amazon more than iTunes most of the time um, <clears throat> because uh, you know it keeps it on the cloud drive, and then also uh, uh, keeps it on the cloud drive, and um, you can download the songs. You can't lose them. Unlike iTunes, you could lose them if you, once you buy them. You better back them up because if you don't, um, you know they can disappear. <laughs> so, but then the one thing about iTunes, which is nice sometimes, is they have like a bonus song, which isn't always on Amazon, and it may be vice versa too. But it's mostly I've seen they have an extra song like on iTunes. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, anyway, I'd definitely recommend buying the CD. The cover art, again, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter so much if you're buying the digital version, but the cover art sort of either looks like a, a child did it or John Frusciante did it himself. I don't know which. I don't know who did it, but it's not like all that impressive, but the simplicity of it is sort of something to appreciate. So that's my thoughts on that. So yeah, so and if you've not heard John Frusciante at all, but you're interested, you know, um, and in, in just so you know, he used to be, from the time he was like 17 to like 39, he was, and there there had been a couple of years where he wasn't, I think, but for a good part of that time, you know, he's been the guitarist for the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, there was a time when he got really into drugs, and he, he was not doing that in like the 1990s. But yeah, he was like 17 when he got started with them, like in 89, and now he's like 42 now. But he, he just left this last, uh, like um, I think like a year or two ago, or a little more, and uh, Josh Kling Klinghoffer, I think, is is now the guitarist for them. So, fun fact about that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, if you've not heard him, I'd recommend just buying, one, listen to the samples, buy one you seem to like if you're into that sort of genre or want to get into it, and then see if it feels valuable having bought it, and then buy more as you find find uh, useful and valuable and inappropriate. So that's about all I have to say about that. Um, thanks for watching this. Um, please uh, share this video with others. Please subscribe to my channel. Please visit my websites that are in the you know description, and also uh, watch my other videos. So I'll implore you to do all those things, like a call to action. So uh, I think that's about it. Um, I'm tempted to let this go to five minutes so I could talk for another 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll just sit here because five is such a nice even number. Um, 452, 453. 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and done.